So today we're going to do a quick modification to my Tesla Model S so that the cigarette lighter receptacle is always on whether I'm in the car or not, whether it's unlocked or locked. And the main advantage of this is so that I can charge up my phone when I'm not in the car, but you can also use it as a backup power source if the grid were to go down. You can only pull 10 amps from the receptacle, but over the course of 24 hours, that's 240 amp hours at 12 volts. So you could charge up a Goal Zero or some other solar battery battery and then use that to power other devices like a fridge. So this is a very easy upgrade and it only takes a couple minutes. And the 12 volt receptacle relay is inside the front. So first remove this cover. And after Googling the question a few times, I found out that this relay controls the cigarette lighter adapter. So we just need to short out some terminals and we'll have power 24 hours a day. So all you have to do is remove it. And all I'm doing is using a 12 gauge wire with some spade connectors to put into these two top terminals. And this is what it should look like after you're done. Now we just need to check if we have power in the car. And so to test if this actually works when the car is off, we have a voltmeter and I can see through the window if it's on or off. And if I close the door and I lock it, we still have power at the receptacle. How cool is that? And that means that I can charge my phone as much as I want when the car is completely locked and turned off. And you know what's crazy is why doesn't Tesla make this in like a software update where you can have it on or off all the time. I guess with the new update with the Model 3, I believe in March, you can have the cigarette lighter on all the time. But for this older Model S, you have to short out those terminals on the relay. But yeah, I'm stoked. Now I can charge up my phone when I'm not at the car. Cause no joke, I still had a USB power bank in this Tesla. And I was like, why, why would they do this? I need to charge my phone when I'm not inside. So very useful upgrade, you guys. I am super happy it works. By the way, this is a very beginner friendly upgrade. I also did another video where we use this as a backup power source with the converter and that's for advanced users only. But for this, you just pull one relay, put one wire with some spade connectors and you're done. And then when you're done, you just need to cover up the fuse box and then put this cover back on and that's it. And when I first attempted to fix this problem, I was gonna just test the relays and find which one was the cigarette lighter adapter one, but someone on the Tesla forums actually posted exactly where it was. So a big thank you because all the fuse and relay diagrams would not tell me where it was. So yeah, thank you guys. And I know a lot of people watching this video will be like, what's a relay? Oh, I'm so scared to do that. But you can't really screw things up here. If you get this small little tiny relay and you short it out, you can't really hurt anything. Do not touch any of these other terminals. Do not short anything else out. You have to short out those two big wires that I showed you, and then you'll be fine and set to go. If you do this modification and it doesn't keep your cigarette lighter on all the time, that means you have a different model and your relay system is different than mine. So what you would have to do is put that relay back and find another way to do it or find where the relay is on your model. But for me with the 2014 Model S, this works perfectly. All right, I hope you guys like watching this video and I'll talk to you later, bye.